Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Disturbing news has unfolded as Saints linebacker Junior Gallette and his cousin were booked with simple battery surrounding a domestic violence incident at Gallette's Kenner home. Joining me now is Saints columnist Larry Holder. Well, Larry, this is mind-boggling for the Saints to deal with. Gallette was named a team captain. He signed a four-year contract contract extension this season and now he's facing potentially serious punishment right and here's the thing though it, it's starting to become a pattern look we saw him on the field uh not play as well we saw him off the field basically go after some of his former teammates uh and putting his leadership into question and now you see this incident uh of battery at his home uh, and so you're, you're having to wonder, okay, the Saints just gave him this big contract. Uh, he also has a roster bonus uh, that's fully guaranteed at this point, uh, $12.5 million that's supposed to be coming to him this year. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's offset uh, in the process of an arrest. So that's something we're going to have to uh, look into. But look, he's owed a lot of money, uh, and the Saints invested in him, figuring he'd be a big part of the future. And so far... Uh, on the field, 10 sacks, and yet uh, he's done some things off the field, and uh, most notably, for sure, uh, this incident uh, will put the Saints in question as to if they made the right move with securing Gillette and giving him a lot of money. Right. The 22-year-old woman uh, said she stayed with Gillette as an assistant while Gillette called her a dancer. Now, she did show uh, some visible facial injuries when police arrived at his home just before 9 a.m. And we'll see how this plays out with the new uh, personal conduct policy uh, that the NFL instituted. And we'll wrap up right after this. Designing luxury with children in mind could be a little excessive. But we found the perfect balance with the Infinity QX60, featuring effortless third row access. Welcome back. Well, Larry, how do you expect Galette's arrest on such a hot button issue in the NFL to affect the, the Saints as they enter this offseason? Well, it's certainly putting a question mark on to, do you put up with this anymore? And we know that this story is going to surround the Saints and Gillette throughout the offseason. And he's facing a potential six-game suspension as part of the new uh, personal conduct policy that was just implemented in December. Stronger punishments uh, due to the arrests uh, of Adrian Peterson and Ray Rice and Greg Hardy. And so Junior Gillette is going to face the process of going through the NFL's process, seeing how the, the law enforcement part of this is going to handle it. And here's the, the kicker. Junior does not need to be convicted for the NFL to suspend him. Now, the NFL is going to investigate and do what's deemed worthy. And, of course, he can still appeal that. But that's the kicker. He does not have to be convicted. And the Saints may possibly lose Junior Gillette for six games, uh, and that could easily be this first six games of the season as we've got all off season for them to process it. So, so this is certainly a big incident uh, and going to become a worry for the Saints and Junior Gillette going forward. Right. Great points there. A lot to see uh, what happens. Uh, and stay with NOLA.com, of course, for the very latest. And Saints general manager Mickey Loomis will speak to media Tuesday at 1030. Well, Larry, thanks so much. Thanks, Rachel. And we'll see you again tomorrow.